same way that computer science majors study computers from like software to hardware, information science students study the history of information and how it's been created in the past, how it's stored now, and then with the rise of all these digital technologies, how it will continue to be created and stored in the future. Information science to me is like technology and society studies. So looking at how technology is changing the way we interact with each other, interact with ourselves, and how we perceive ourselves, and also thinking about the ethical concerns that come with the changing landscape. I would describe information science as this like interconnection of human data, technology, all kind of coming together, working together. When I first joined the program, I knew it was something that I was interested in, but I didn't know why it was important. And I feel like through taking Code and Power and now in the Information Society, I'm really understanding how complex the digital era is and how important it is for us to understand the impacts of these technologies on our lives. There's a lot of opacity between how you interact with your phone or your computer and what it's doing on the back end, and not a lot of people understand that. I wrote a paper on facial recognition technologies, and that was super interesting because I remember my first experience with a facial rec recognition technology when I was at the airport, and I was like, this is so cool, like, what's it doing? <laughs> and then actually, like, learning about what happens when those facial recognition technologies are used and the potential biases actually that are embedded into those technologies was also really enlightening to me. I have one course, uh, LIS 350. One of the projects in that course was taking an earlier form of how like books were made and trying to like apply our technology today to like kind of mimic it. Mine was I created a website that would allow you to draw on a digital copper plate. You could engrave on it and then you could ink it. As an employee of the information school, I work in the uh, IT department here. Just the environment overall of the, like, the high school, because I get to meet everyone kind of and work and help them out through different things. They're all very welcoming. They're not there just to like grade our homework. Like They also are trying to push you to do better. One thing I really love about school is the ability to see where your classes overlap. And I think I've really seen that in this major. What I love about the coursework is that our professors really recognize that we have a wide variety of interests and they really honor that by giving us a lot of room to choose specific topics for projects. I am really interested in foreign languages. I was considering majoring in Spanish and then Portuguese. I've been able to develop my language skills while being in the major and not falling behind, which is a testament to its flexibility. One thing. Uh, with this being interdisciplinary is that uh, I'm able to double major and get a certificate all at one time. The course load between computer science and information science, they overlap each other really well. Something that I feel is really unique about the information science major is that it can very easily be its own standalone major and you can really deep dive into it, but also it's a really great complementary major to any of the other majors on campus. Um, I know friends who are international business majors, students who are graphic design majors, who are art majors, who are engineering. I'm in Color Stack now, I'm the co-president, and I really, I've really been enjoying that, and I think that if I hadn't come to the information science major, I wouldn't have found Color Stack. Being able to join Color Stack was super cool, because I was like, wow, like there are like a lot of people in this space that I feel like I can connect with.